Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, Mercy. God bless you. Good morning. How are you doing today? Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, family. Thank you for joining us. Please leave a comment. Let me officially welcome you. Let me see who is joining us. Always a pleasure having you join us, Mercy. Always glad to have you. Oh, Zabara Sobranda La Rushaka. Amen. Glad to know you're doing just fine. All the glory must be to the Lord for he is worthy of our praise no man on earth should take glory for himself all the glory must be all the glory must be all the glory must be to the Lord. No man on earth should take glory for themselves. All the glory must be. All the glory must be. All the glory must be to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of a praise. No man on earth should take glory for themselves all the glory must be all the glory must be all the glory must be to the lord all the glory must be all the glory must be, all the glory must be to the Lord. No man on earth should take glory for themselves. All the glory must be, all the glory must be, all the glory must be to the Lord. You are the reason why we are here, Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are the reason why we are singing Jehovah. You are the Lord, I go. You are the reason why we are here today, Jehovah. 
You are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are the reason why we are praying, Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why we are alive, Jehovah. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most high God. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are the most high God. You are the most I go. You are the most I go. Daddy, you are the most I go. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most I go. Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, you are the most I go. You are the reason why we are here, Jehovah. You are the most high God. You are the reason why we are singing, Jehovah. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high, Jehovah. You are the most high God, Jehovah. You are the most high. Oh, you are the most I go. You are the most high. Daddy, oh, you are the most I go. Oh, you are the most high. You are the most I go. See what you've done for me. Kayana Balarasiana. See how you lifted me. You are the living God. Oh, is there no one like you? See what you've done for me, Jesus. See how you delivered me. You are the living God. Oh, is there no one like you? You are the living God. Oh, is there no one like you? You are the living God. Oh, is there no one like you? You picked me from the marine clay, set my feet on the rock to stand. You are my promoter, you are my defender. You are the living God, oh. Is there no one like you? See what you've done for me, Jesus. See how you favored me. You are the living God, oh. Is there no one like you? See what he's done for you, Tiffany. See how he favored you, Richard. He is a living God. Oh, is there no one like you? See all the good things he did for you, Mercy. See how he put his favor on you. He is the living God. Oh. Is there no one like you? You are a living God. Oh. Is there no one like you? You are the living God. Oh. Is there no one like you? I love you forever. 
I love you forever. I love you forever. Oh Lord. Oh, I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, oh God. I love you, Lord. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, oh Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you forever. We love you forever. We love you forever, oh Lord. Oh, I love you, God, forever. I love you forever, Jesus. I love you forever more. Jesus, I say thank you forever. I thank you, God, forever. I thank you forever more. Oh, we thank you forever. We thank you forever. We thank you forever, oh Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you forever. We say thank you forever. We will thank you forever. Oh Lord. Kabayana balara sobranda la rushaka. Oh God, we exalt your holy name, Lord Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We exalt your holy name. We say you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Of the universe, there is none like you. Before you, there was none. Besides you, there is none. After you, there will never be any. Kabayana balarasiana. We raise our voices, Lord, to say you are the best God that ever existed. You are the most powerful God that ever existed. You are the omnipotent, the omnipresent, the omniscient God. Oh God, you alone are God over our lives. Liana Barasiana Balarusha Kaliana Rasiana. We lift up our voices to say you alone are God. There is none to be compared with you. Besides you, there is no other. The God who calls for things that be not as though they already existed and they come into existence. The God that calls, that created everything that is seen out of the unseen. The God that speaks for words and they come to pass. The God that said the thing and, 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 and no one can say no. The God whose words are yea and amen. Father, we say we worship you. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. You are the rock of ages. You are the rock of ages. The ancient of days. The one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The one who never changes, but changes things. The one who created time, but is out of time. The one who controls the times and the seasons. The one that has the world in his hand. The Bible says the earth is his footstool. Lord, we are here to say you are too much. We are here to say you are too much. You are so great. You are so good. You are so merciful. You are so gracious. Liana Barasiana Balarusha Kaliana. No one can love me like you do. No one takes care of me the way you do. My Redeemer, you are worthy to be praised. Lord, we are here to say you are worthy. You are worthy of our worship. You are worthy of our praises. You are worthy to be called the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You are worthy to own my life. Kayana Balara Sobrahanda. You are worthy to take all of me. <laughs> you are worthy, Lord, to take all of me. 
Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You are my everything. Take all of me, all of me, God. You are my everything. Anoint my everything. Use my everything. Take all of me, all of me, God. You are my everything. Take all of me, all of me, God. You are my everything. Lord, take my everything. I give you all of me. So take my body, my soul, my spirit. And Lord, take my body, my soul, and my spirit. And please breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Breathe on me. Who is worshiping God with me? Breathe on me. Breathe on me, Jesus. Breathe on me. As I look to you for life. Lord, please breathe on me. As I look to you for life. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. And please breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, and my spirit. Abba, please breathe on me. Jesus, take our bodies, our souls, and our spirits. And breathe on us today. Breathe on us. Breathe on us, Jesus. Breathe on us. As we look to you for life, affect my life. Breathe on me, God. As I look to you for life, affect my life and breathe on me. As I look to you for life, affect my life and breathe on me, Jesus. Is there someone reconnecting? Can can someone comment? Let me know if I'm if I'm back. Did I lose everyone? Please, someone try to comment. Let me know if I'm reconnected. Oh, God. Oh, speak from the heavens and the earth will hear. Oh, speak from the heavens. And the earth will hear. It's my friends. It's cold. Okay, Pastor Rich, you are there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, the network has been crazy. I really don't know what to do. Really don't know what to do. Don't know if there are better possibilities. I have two different phone companies whose network I'm using, but they, all of them are messing up. Oh, I've lost quite a number of people, but it's okay. Oh, let's continue, let's continue, let's move on from here. We are still in our week of favor. And God is not done with us yet. God is not done with us yet. Today we are looking at divine endorsement. Oh. Okay, Monica, thank you so much for joining us. Pastor Rich, I didn't even tell you 
you are welcome. You came when we were in the midst of worship. Lini, you're welcome. Monica, so glad to have you join us. Good morning, Pastor Rich. Mercy, I already said welcome to you. I hope you are still there or you come back. Cece, you're welcome. For those who are still to come back, Tiffany, you're welcome. Lini, how are you doing? It's been a while. I don't remember seeing you these days. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that you guys hear him that much. That that I, I didn't know his noise is that clear to you. <laughs> we minister together. He, he, as a matter of fact, he's the one who is called. <laughs> I'm just using the residues of his anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah, Father, we thank you for this session. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, you had to move and settle, then that's awesome. Thank you. We are glad to have you back. We are glad to have you back. Genesis chapter 6 from verse 7 to verse 8. Genesis chapter 6 from verse 7 to verse 8. <laughs> really, Monica? Oh, one of these days I'll, I'll, I'll actually minister with him. <laughs> he will end the session before we start. Thank you, thank you, my assistant, Pastor Monica. Our next scripture is going to be Psalms 105. Let me see the particular verses. The next scripture is going to be Psalms 105 from verse 16 to verse 23. Psalms 105 from verse 16 to verse 23. Mm. Hallelujah. Let's start with Genesis. It says, And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, and for it repented me that I have made them. Man sinned so much that God regretted ever, ever making man. And God says, I'm going to destroy man from the face of the earth. He says, but Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Ben Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Let's hear what that happened. Maybe, did I say up to verse 9? These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man a, and perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with God. Did you hear why Noah found favor with God? Because Noah was a just man. Noah was perfect in his walk with God. Noah was just, Noah was righteous. Noah was perfect in his walk with God. Let me see how the Amplified Bible version puts it. I love the Amplified because it breaks. Oh, Elder Fire, I see you. I see you, ma. Always a pleasure having you in our midst. He says, this is the history of the generation of Noah. Noah was a just and a righteous man, blameless in, the, in his evil generation. In his evil generation, Noah could still be blameless. Noah walked in habitual fellowship with God. Come on, Noah is giving us the, 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 how, the, 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 the principle on how to attract the favor of God. The Bible says God was so angry with the world because sin was too much. And God decided that he was going to destroy, to destroy man and not just man, even the beasts, the creeping things, the birds, everything. But, but then the Bible says Noah found favor in the eyes of God. And then after that, immediately after that, the Bible begins to tell us why Noah found favor with the, in, in the sight of God. Hallelujah, Elder Fire, hallelujah. 
Why did Noah find favor in the sight of God? Noah found favor in the sight of God because he was righteous. He was upright. He was blameless in the midst of, you know, that I, I always say, wrong, remain, wrong remains wrong if everyone is doing it. Oh, there are showers of blessing. It's beginning to rain here. Someone, the blessings of God are pouring upon you in the name of Jesus. Are we together? Can, can you get me? Are we together? I hope I'm not speaking to myself. Can you get me? Rain is falling here. Rain just started falling. And I said the blessings of God are pouring down on us. Are we together? I need to see the comments to know that we are together. Can you get me? Okay, you can get me. And the Bible says Noah was blameless. And I was saying, oh, thank you, Pastor Rich. Wrong remains wrong, no matter, even, even if everyone is doing it. And right remains right, even if nobody is doing it. Because there is something that, has, that is happening in the world now. For instance, immorality has become so, has gone so viral. Immorality has become so viral that it is no longer considered a sin. Fornication has become a part of life. Abortion has become a part Oh, God is going to help us today. Even in the midst of all that, it doesn't matter. Lying has, lies telling has become a part of life. But that does not matter. It doesn't matter how much the, 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 the society has watered down the precepts of God. It doesn't matter how much immorality has gone rampant. But, it, it, but if God has said it is wrong, even if everybody is doing it, it remains wrong. The first way to attract the favor of God is to walk according to the precept, to the precept of God. Is to walk according to the will of God. Is to do what God expects of you. That's the first way to attract the favor of God. Oh my God, it's pouring. Can you still hear me? The first way to attract the favor of God is for you to align yourself to the will of God over your life. Align yourself. Do what God wants you to do the way God wants you to do it. Shanti, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. The way God wants you to do it. The fastest way to, uh, to, to attract the favor of God is by aligning to the will of God. Is by aligning to the will of God. That's exactly what Noah did. Amen. Amen. I'm glad to hear that. That's what Noah did. Yesterday we were looking at favor in line with purpose. So the favor of God comes on us to facilitate purpose fulfillment. So if you are in line with the Kayana Balara Sobranda Larushaka. So sorry about that. So sorry. Today is crazy. God will help. God will help us in this session. But it's okay. It's not that they someone keeps trying to call me and I'm rejecting the call and they are calling. People don't understand. They can't understand. That if someone declines a call, it means they can't answer the call now. Sorry, this one this time around is not the network. <laughs> It's just someone that is insensitive. But let's continue. What was I saying? I was saying the moment you align yourself to the will and the purpose of God over your life, God will definitely back you up. Oh, Shanti. <laughs> I love you too, Shanti. Thank you so much. I, I, I needed that. I needed that to calm down. And then let's start this. Oh, thank you so much. Are we still together, Pastor Rich? Are you there? Oh, sorry. This one, this time around, it wasn't network. It was someone persisting to call me, to reach to me. So this is Noah in a generation that is all messed up, in a generation that has gone astray. Oh, thank you, Monica. But Noah was aligned to the will of God. Noah was aligned to the pretext of to the to, to, to the precepts of God. Noah aligned himself. The Bible says Abraham believed God. 
<laughs> Don't mind the Monica. Abraham believed God and it was accredited unto him as righteousness. So when we are talking about righteousness here, it's, to, it's more about you believing what God told you. It's more about you aligning yourself to what God told you. It's more about you being in the place where God wants you to be and doing what God wants you to do at that particular point in time. That is the fastest way to attract the favor of God. When you are to purpose, favor will follow you. When you are doing what God expects of you, favor will follow you. When you start doing what God commands you to do, that's why favor goes in hand with obedience. Favor goes hand in hand with obedience. And there is a, and favor goes hand in hand with faith. Today, God told me something. God says favor is, an, is divine endorsement. Favor is divine endorsement. Pastor Rich, I thought about you when I got this word. God says favor is divine endorsement. Kayana Balarasiana. And what does it mean to endorse? To endorse means to support, to back someone, to back up someone, to be, to be somebody's backup, to give one's approval, to officially or by signature give your approval. And, and the reason why I thought of you, Pastor Rich, is because when you write a book, for instance, and then some, sometimes to endorse also means sponsorship, to get someone who can sponsor that thing. Oh, thank you, Monica. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. To get someone who can sponsor, to get financial sponsorship, to get someone who can sponsor, who can, who can sponsor your work. And to endorse, endorse me means support of an important personality. To have the support of a renowned or important personality. The reason why I thought of you, love Jesus, thank you so much for joining us. You're yeah, also oh, glad to have you join us today, you're welcome. The reason why I thought of you is the example like when you write your book, and the best of your, of, of, of your ability and your marketing maybe it could get you to distribute maybe a thousand copies or, a few, or, or some thousands of copies. And then you get someone who is influential to endorse that book. Maybe let's say a public figure gets to talk about your book. A public figure gets to, to tell the world that, that they have read this book. This is a book they will recommend for you. Like for instance, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey had a book club. And every book that she, she, that she endorses, it automatically sells maybe hundreds of thousands of copies or even millions of copies. Because someone who is renowned, someone that is influential, endorses you. And God told me the favor of God is divine endorsement. Oh, man can endorse you and sometimes you might even find it hard to afford for man to endorse you because you've got to... You, you pay for it. Sometimes man might not want to endorse you because they are, they, they are in competition with you. They feel like if they endorse you, you might outgrow them. But God says there is another dimension of endorsement that is called divine endorsement. Pastor Rich, that's the one that is coming to you. It's called divine endorsement. When it is heaven that backs you up. When it is heaven that backs you up. When God begins to back you up. When God gives you the support that you need. When God begins to announce you. And God says the moment you align yourself with the purpose and the will of God, you have heaven's endorsement. You have divine endorsement. Automatically, whatever you do, you prosper because you have divine endorsement. Wherever you go, God announces you because you have divine endorsement. Yesterday, we were looking at David and David was considered a nobody even in his own family. His own father forgot about him. But the moment divine endorsement came to David, David left from the bush straight to the palace. And the moment, because of that divine endorsement, David, why in the palace becomes something else? David, why in the palace is one encounter out of the out, out, out of the bush? His one encounter in the palace leaves the women in the in, in, in the city shouting, so slay, so so slay a thousand, but David slay ten thousand. So, so David automatically became a celebrity. That's what happens when you have divine endorsement. But there were people that were endorsed. Yes, the, the, Jesse, who was their father, was endorsing their other sons and pushing them into military. And yes, they were making it in life. But the moment God endorsed David, David became a dimension in himself. David had a city of his own. David built a city. Even though David, even when David was a, 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 like a fugitive, 
running away from Saul. Kayana Balarasiana. Oh, amen, amen, Pastor Rich. Amen. I thought of you when I was preparing for this. Favor, the favor of God is divine endorsement. Today, God is telling someone, Kayana Balarasiana. Liana Baru Shakaliana Rasiana. Lise Branda Raswana Baru Shakaliana Rasobrahanda. Kabayana Nana Balarasiana. Lise Branda Laru Shaka. And see, see, get to see what, what happened to Noah after God found favor with Noah. The Bible says Noah found favor in the eyes of God because Noah was, he, he was righteous. And, and, and he was blameless before God. But there was some other thing that they said that is very important. He was in habitual fellowship with God. He was in habitual fellowship with God. Yet the other day I told us that where every time the favor of God comes upon you, it is an indication that you need more of God. Every time God favors you, you it's, it's a call to higher responsibility. It's an indication that you need more of God. And that's why Noah was in, in continuous fellowship with God. Because he couldn't have done what was coming ahead of him. Every time the oil of favor comes upon you, there is an assignment coming for you. Every time the oil of favor pours upon you, there is something bigger coming for you. And the very next thing that, that we hear is God telling Yes, yes, Pastor Rich, God has a plan. God comes to Noah and tells Noah to, to build a ship, to build an ark. Noah was never a carpenter. <laughs> when divine endorsement comes upon you, oh, Elder, El, Elder Fire, I see you. Noah was never recorded to be a carpenter. And then God gave him the, God did not just instruct him to build an ark. There were details. Oh, amen, amen, Monica. I love confirmations. There were details. Give the dimensions. Give, give, give the instructions. And for years, there was nothing falling. The rain that was waiting for wasn't, fought for wasn't falling. And it seemed happening. But Noah was hijacked from his place. And began God would empower you to do what you were not trained to do. When divine endorsement comes upon you, God automatically empowers you to do what you were normally not trained to do. So you need to be in habitual fellowship with God, like Noah was. You need to be in constant fellowship with God. Because when it comes upon you, you begin to do things that you never thought you could do. God begins to back you up in places that you never thought. Because divine endorsement is going to take you and put you in positions that you have, you have never prepared to occupy. It's going to take you and put you in places where you never thought you could be. So you need continuous fellowship with God for you to be able to be there, for you to fit there. But do you have the faith that is needed? The question is, do you have faith enough to believe that you can do it? Pastor Rich, do you have faith enough to believe that you can pull this thing through. You can go through this. To believe that there is nothing too hard for you to do. Because God that lives in you is the God of impossibility. And if the God that is in the inside of you is the God of impossibility, then nothing can be impossible with you. Shanti, do you believe, the, do you have the faith that if God takes you to that place, then he can back you up. Mercy, do you have the faith that if God takes you to the place, then he can back you up. Monica, do you have the faith? Because that's what keeps us behind. Sometimes it's not like we have not been endorsed. It's not like divine endorsement is not upon us. We have been divinely endorsed. The favor is upon us. The doors have been opened. But do you have faith enough? Because you need faith to believe that you can go through this. You need faith. You, have, you, you don't know what it means to be a carpenter noir. So for you to, you need faith to first of all believe that rain will fall. Because before that time, it had never rained. All of a sudden, God comes to you and tells you it's going to rain. And there is no sign of rain. 
There is no sign of rain. It doesn't look like it will ever rain. One year passes, two years pass, and, and it doesn't look like. Do you have faith enough to believe what God said and believe that you have been favored and believe that God gave you this task for a purpose and if he said it, it is going to come to pass and not give up? Do you have faith enough to believe that even though you never learned carpentry, you can make, you can build this ark. Can you still see that end? Can you still see that end? Can you still see that promise of God? Can you see when the oil came upon you, God told you your book was going to be a bestseller. You were going to sell millions of that of copies of that particular book. Now you are, you are finding difficulties even rounding up the book. Can you still see, look ahead and see that destination? Of selling millions of copies. Do you still believe that God has endured, endorsed you? Oh, thank you, Mr. Tyon, just for joining us. Thank you, baby, for joining us. Family, please welcome my husband. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure having you join us, baby. So glad to have you join us. So we realize that favor doesn't just work by itself. Favor needs faith. There is need for faith. You need faith to be able to do what God commands of you. You need faith to, to be able to see that end. Sometimes the problem is not like heaven is not backing us up. It's not like God is not with you. It's not like God has not opened the door. But the problem is that you don't have sufficient faith to believe that God can do this. Someone, I don't know who I'm talking to, you find yourself, yes, God said it, but you find yourself in a place where you are wondering, am I still in the will of God? Is this still God? Do I still have God with me? Let's go over to Psalms 105. That's our next scripture. From verse 16. It says, moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. Oh, you know the, who they are, we are referring to as he? The he here is referring to God. The he here is referring to God. God called for a famine. Pastor Rich, is it possible that God is involved in the difficulties you are going through? Lini, is it possible that the reason why you are going through the challenges you are going through is because God's hand is involved? Hey, purest fire, I'm getting deep. Is it possible that the hand of God is in the mess that you are inside right now? Kayana bala rasobra handa la rushaka. Iyana na 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 bala siyana bala rushaka. When you look at yourself and this position, the cobweb that you found yourself in, do you see the possibility that God's hand can be there? He says God calls for a famine in the land. <laughs> The whole staff of bread in the land. He brought the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, even Joseph. <laughs> oh, thank you, baby. I'm doing the best I can. He says, God sent a man before them. Excuse me. I thought it was the how 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 can they? There's something the Bible is not getting right. Because if I remember very well, the story. The original story that we that, that I read in the book of Genesis was that the father of Joseph bought a coat of many colors and Joseph had a revelation and the brothers of Joseph became very jealous of him and they decided to kill him and the elders uh, 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 and Reuben decided to advise them, say let's not kill him. Let, let, let's sell him and even make some money out of it. So the brothers out of hatred decided to sell Joseph. And Joseph was bought by the Ishmaelites and was taken to, to Egypt. When he got to Egypt, he became a slave in the house of Potiphar. And now God is telling us he sent Joseph to Egypt. I thought God was a good God. How can it be possible that God was responsible? Is there a possibility that God has been using your enemies all this while to get at you? 
Forgiveness and love, thank you for joining us. Pastor Rich, is there a possibility that God is using someone? Oh, thank you, Monica. Is there a possibility that God is using your colleagues to, 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 to force something, to press them, say oil in the inside of you. And God says, I'm going to use whoever is available around you. I'm going to use whoever is available, whoever I can use, be it haters, be it people who love you. Oh, pure sire, is there a possibility that God has been using the people around you to squeeze some oil out of you? Because oil comes out by pressure. Until pressure has been uh, has been applied, the oil doesn't come out. Until there have been some pressure that has been applied, the oil doesn't come out. You know why my best scripture is all things work together for good? Because it doesn't matter what is happening. I know as long as I love God and I'm called according to his purpose. I know as long as I love God and I'm called according to his purpose, then all things, I know he's using this. The Bible says God sent Joseph ahead. So what you thought it was the enemy fighting you, the enemy will not even have the power to fight you, except God allowed them to fight you. The Bible says God will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you can bear. I know you feel like you can't take it, but you can. You are, you are greater than that circumstance. You are stronger than that difficulty. You are greater than that, that difficulty. You are stronger than that circumstance. The Bible says, and, and God sent a man before them, even Joseph who was sold as a servant. It wasn't God who sold him as a servant, but God was responsible. God was behind it. it says, who was sold as a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. You can go through some hurt, and God was behind it. And you're asking God, where are you when I'm crying and shouting? God, where are you? How can you sit quiet in heaven when I'm going through this? How can you watch my colleagues then do this to me? How can you watch turn against me this way? How can you watch me lose everything I've worked so hard for? And God says hey, nothing is happening. And God is quiet and heaven is quiet. And you're asking what happened? I always go back to the best example, which was Jesus Christ in the, in the garden of Gethsemane, crying and, and calling on God to take away the cup. Crying and calling on God to take this cup away. Crying and calling on God to take this cup away. But heaven was silent. How God becomes silent sometimes that we need him the most. And this is the same Joseph. He says he was hurt. He was laid in iron. Until the time that, that, that his word came. Someone, it is time for your word to come. Come on. Pure fire, it is time for your word to come. He says Joseph was held by irons until the time for his word to come. It is time for your word to come. It is time for your word to come. Unless it's time for the word of God your life to come. Monica, it is time for the word of God over your life to come. Forgiveness and love, it is time for the word of God over your life to come. Rise up, you're welcome. It is time for the word of God over your life to come. Tyon Judge, it is time. Oh, Lini, it is time. Monica, it is time. Shanti, it is time. He says he, he, he was held by the irons. He went through the difficulty. But the difficulties did not come to kill him. The difficulties came to take him through the process. While he was going through the difficulties, he was getting closer to purpose. While he was going through the difficulties, God was saying, I have endorsed you. You might not feel like it, but I have endorsed you. You might not see like you're going. Oh, who would ever know that the way to the palace is through the prison? Who would ever believe that the highway to the palace is through the prison? It says, until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. The word of the Lord tried him. The word of the Lord tried you, pure fire. The word of the Lord tried him. The king sent and lost him. Ha! When it is time, 
Even the king will give a command for you. The king will have a dream that only you, oh, thank you, Pastor Rich, only you can, can interpret. The company will face a crisis that only you can solve. When it is time, Kayana Balarasiana, the moment it was time, the very next verse talks about a king. When it is time, Hayana Balarushaka, divine endorsement, the oil on your head, it carries you straight to the king. When it is time, divine endorsement carries you straight to authority. When it is time, divine endorsement carries you right to the right place. When it is time, Kayana Balarasiana, yes, Monica, it becomes the Kairos moment. Where everything, all grace abounds towards you. Everyone, if the king needs to, 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 to dream, for you to come there, then he will dream. If the king needs to dream, then he has got to dream. The king might not have been dreaming before now, but because it was time, it was a Kairos moment. It was time. You have divine endorsement that has, was, that has been done behind closed doors. It carries you straight to the palace. And the Bible says, the king sent and lost him. Even the ruler of the people and let him go free. He says he made him. The king made him Lord. Kayana, when it is time, you are no more under, you are in charge. When it is time, God puts you in charge. The king made him Lord of his house and ruler of all his substance. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Liza Barasiana, to bind his princes at his pleasure. And to teach his senators wisdom. Oh, la zobranda la ru shakaliana rasiana. Kayana ba la ru shakaliana rasobrahanda. The other day I was telling us from the book of Luke chapter 2 and verse 52. That God, despite the fact that Jesus had wisdom. The Bible says he grew in wisdom. But still he found favor with God and with man. Because yes, you have wisdom. Yes, Joseph, you have wisdom. But you've got to have an encounter with the king for your wisdom to be to be of effect. Because the wisdom of, of the poor is not heard. So no matter how wise you are, behind closed doors, as long as you are in prison, your wisdom will be ineffective. Your wisdom will be in, inconsequential. You are going to just use your wisdom and minister to the cup bearer. And he leaves the prison and forgets you too for two years. But when God says it's time for divine endorsement, when God says the time is now, when God says it's your Kairos moment, you are going to use that same wisdom before people that matter. You are going to apply that same knowledge before people that matter. You are going to enter the bus and you are going to be talking to a CEO of the company and you don't know. And the wisdom that has been wasting in the inside of you and they were insulting you with that same wisdom in the inside. You are going to say just one thing and that man is going to say this is the kind of person I've been looking for for my company. When it's the right time, by divine backing, by heavenly backing, you are at the right place at the right time to, to, to show for the glory of God. Kayana Balarasiana. And the Bible says, Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. We have been seeing how divine favor sets you apart in your family. It might not look like you are in authority. It might not look like you have anything to offer. But trust me, God is at work. It is your, you are on your highway to the palace. You are on your highway to the palace. Oh, come on. Come on, every time we see, the, we, we, everyone that we saw, almost everybody that we saw, that was divinely endorsed. Are we talking about David? Are we talking about Joseph? Are we talking about Esther? These are the key, the, 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 the key people that we saw. Are we talking about Solomon? The key people that we saw in the Bible when it comes to favor. And where did they end up? In the palace. Because divine endorsement, you cannot be endorsed by heaven and you remain in, in a hidden place. Kaya Zabara Sobranda La Roshaka. Kalia Nabara Zibranda La Rusha Kaliana La Sibra Handa La Rasiana. Kaya Nabala Rasiana Barusha Kaliana La Sobra Handa. Ziana Barusha Kaliana La Siana Barusha Ka. Hey, Pastor Rich, you cannot be endorsed by heaven and your book remains in the computer. Your book cannot remain a soft copy when you have been endorsed by heaven. Kayana Balarasiana Barushaka. I command that book to come to life. Liana Barasiana Barushaka. You cannot be endorsed by heaven and you remain hidden. You cannot be endorsed by heaven and you remain behind closed doors. You cannot be endorsed by heaven and you remain inconsequential. Come on, I don't know who is here and you have been struggling. No one knows you. I call you out in the spotlight in the name of Jesus.
encounter the king. It's time for you to encounter royalty. It's time for you to leave the bush into, in, into the palace. It's time for you to step out of the house. You have been behind closed doors for so long. God says it's time for heaven to back you. It's time for God to support you. It's time for God to God to have your back. It's time for God to go ahead of you. It's time for you to be endorsed. It's time for divine endorsement. Oh, where are the people I'm praying for? I can't even see them. Liana bara sobrahanda la rushaka. Liana bara siana. Yes, 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 Mr. Tyon George. You cannot be divinely endorsed and you remain behind closed doors. You cannot be inconsequential. I pray for you, George. Liana bara swana barushaka liana. Lise bara sobrahanda la rasiana. Heaven is pouring out the oil of greatness upon you. Heaven is pouring out the oil of greatness upon you. Divine endorsement is your portion. The spotlight is on you. Kings are coming to your rising. Kings are looking for you. Liana bara sobra handa la rushaka. Liana na 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 bara siana. Lise brunda la rasiana. Someone you are rising from nothing to something. You are living from nothing to something. Liza bara siana baru shaka. Kayana bala rasiana baru shahanda. Kali zebara suana baru sha. Lize zebara rasiana. Kabayana bala rasiana. When divine endorsement comes upon you, you cannot remain inconsequential. When divine endorsement comes upon you, people begin to identify you by reason of the person that recommended you. Hey, someone you are receiving divine recommendation. Someone you are receiving divine recommendation. They will call you where you did not drop your applications. And they are going to say someone connected us to you. Someone is speaking well of you somewhere. Someone is speaking well of you somewhere. Angels have been despised. They are speaking well of you in places that matters. That matter. They are speaking well of you in people that are influential. Someone, they, someone, a cup bearer. Kaila Zobarasiana. God says it is time. When it was time, the cup bearer who had forgotten Joseph. When it was time, the cup bearer that had forgotten about Joseph. Joseph said, when you go out, please do not forget me. The cup bearer went out and forgot about Joseph. But when God said it is time, the cup bearer that forgot Joseph, remembered Joseph and recommended Joseph to the king. Someone, people that you helped in time past and they forgot about you. They are remembering you. People that you helped, when you had a job, you recommended them. When you had a job, you, 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 you connected them. You, you, you employed them because of your connection. And now that you are down, they forgot about you. God says it is time. God says it is time. Divine endorsement, someone is recommending you somewhere. Someone is speaking well of you to somebody that matters. Someone is recommending you where you did not even know. They are going to call you when you did not apply. Kayana balarasiana barushaka. Pastor Rich, when the oil is on you, people are going to fight you. Like Joseph, you have even your brothers hate you. Like David, you have even your brothers hate you. Come on, you are going to be, and the people are going, don't, don't blame the people who hate you. Don't blame the people that treat you anyhow. It's just that there is something they see on your head that they would love to have on their own head. Don't blame them. You don't blame them. It's not their fault. If, if you understand that, it's not their fault. They are just wanting to be you. They actually just envy you. They just want to be you. They don't understand why there is this thing on your head. There is this crown on your head that they can't have on their own head. They don't understand why you are the one with the crown. They don't understand why you are the one who is favored. Liza bara sobra handa la rushaka. Oh, Zabayana Balarasiana. Divine endorsement. When it was time. God says, when it was time. When it was time. <laughs> Even the cup bearer that forgot for two years. Forgot about Joseph for two years. He remembered him. Your helpers that forgot about you, they are remembering you in the name of Jesus. Your helpers that forgot about you, they are remembering you in the name of Jesus. Your helpers that forgot about you, they are remembering you in the name of Jesus. Why they were hating Joseph? Joseph was progressing. Why they were hating Joseph? God was taking him to the palace. Why they were hating Joseph? Guess what? At the end of the day, the Bible says even Jacob came back. Even Jacob came back to Egypt. All the sons that hated him came.
came back to him. Because at the end of the day, you are going to be the one that carries the solution in that family. At the end of the day, you are going to be the one that carries the answers in that company. At the end of the day, all of them will come back and bow down before you. At the end of the day, even the brothers of Joseph, when God was done with Joseph, after it was time and God took Joseph to the palace, his brothers that hated him, come back now and were bowing before him. And they were at his back and call. They were looking up to him. Everyone that has hated you before now, they will look up to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Kayana balarasiana barushaka. Zibaya na 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 na. The oil of favor is pouring upon you, Shanti. Liana barasobra handa larasiana. Divine endorsement. Divine endorsement. As they are hating you, you are prospering. The more they hate you, did you know? Kayana balarasiana barushaka. Did you know that there is a kind of favor that is that that comes upon you because you are hated? Oh, get it from me. The Bible tells us, I believe, maybe somewhere around Genesis chapter 40. It says Leah was hated. And because she was hated, God favored her and, and, and gave her children. God blessed her. There is a blessing that comes upon you because you are hated. If everyone loves you, then something is wrong with your life. One of the signs to show that God loves you and God is blessing you is how many people hate you. People just hate you for no good reason. You do your best to be the best that you can, but people still just hate, hate you. There is a special blessing that comes upon you because people hate you. Oh, yes, Monica, Monica, you are in the spirit. Jesus says, they, if they hate you, they hated me first. <laughs> so how do you, if they hate you, they hated me first. So hating, the, the fact that they hate you is no news. The fact that they hate you is no news. The fact that they hate you is no news. There is a special blessing that is resting on you because you are hated. Come on now. Look at the people we are talking about. Jonathan, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Jonathan Johnson, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Look at Joseph. Wherever he went, he does his best. He puts his best effort. But he ends up in a mess. If God is with you, people are going to persecute you. If there is a promise of God, the prophecy of God over your life, if God has promised that you will be great, people are going to hate you. Yeah. Oh, Caroline, thank you so much for joining us, Ma. We are so glad to have you join us. So glad to have you join us, Caroline. Thank you, ma'am, for joining us. The Bible says Joseph was hated in his own house. David was hated in his own house. Sometimes when the word comes upon you, sometimes because of the destiny you have, you lose your parents like, 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 like Esther did. You go through all this, the difficulties and you're asking yourself, come on, there was another guy called Jabez. In his own house, he was hated. There was Jephthah. There was Jabez. There was Jephthah. And the people that have greatness upon them. They always have a difficult life. Because there's prophecy over your, over your life. The Bible tells us in the book of Matthew chapter 13. Jesus talking. Jesus was sharing the parable of the sword. And then talks about one category. And, and, and says these are the people that receive the word. But then due to persecution, due to persecution, they lost the word. The word was, they lost, they let go of the word due to persecution. Persecution that came to them because of the word that they received. Persecution that came to them because of the word that they received. When God gives, gives a prophetic word over your life, the word, all hell breaks loose against you. That's why most often when they give you a prophetic word and they tell you, you are going, God wants to bless you. <laughs> you don't go and jubilate. You don't celebrate. 
It's, it's a good time to take a fast. It's a good time to pray until you see it happen. Kalazo barasiana barushaka. Zibayana na 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 na. So when you cannot have the favor of God upon you and people just are happy with you, no. Because favor will take you to places where you didn't even deserve to be. Favor will put you in positions where you didn't deserve to be. Hey, Pastor Rich is not a trap. You didn't get that promotion as a trap because they wanted to make a mockery of you. No, favor, the favor of God upon you took you to a place that others, man naturally doesn't feel like you deserve to be there. Favor is going to take you to a place so you, they must hate you. There's another person that deserves to be there. They thought they deserve to be there. Sometimes the favor of God over your life is going to cause Vashti to misbehave so that Vashti can be sent out of the palace. And then Esther, who has been highly favored, is going to find herself in the palace. Don't you dare tell me that Vashti was happy with Esther. Before Esther steps into the palace, she has one, she has one certified enemy. That's, that's Vashti. Before Esther even steps into the palace, she has a certified enemy. That's Vashti. Oh, I, I, I'm talking to someone. That's Vashti. And guess what? Vashti is not alone. Vashti has a family. So there's already a family that hates Esther. Guess what? It's not only Vashti and her family. Vashti also had friends. Vashti, there were people in the palace that, that believed in, in Vashti. There were people in the palace that have, that have vowed they, they will go back and they will tell Vashti we will make her life hell. She's going to run. We will run her out of this palace. She thinks she's able. That poor orphan girl thinks she's qualified to, to replace you. Look at you. You are an epitome of beauty. She's not even beautiful. There are people that are in the palace with one motive and with one agenda to run Esther out of the palace because they are defending Vashti. There are people that are in the palace, but they can never call Esther king, queen. Because they go behind and they tell Vashti, even though you are out of the palace, you remain our queen forever. How can you still be fine? Know that people will hate you. If, there, if the favor of God is upon you, people will hate you. Oh, sometimes even your superiors will still hate you. The brothers of, of, of David, they were doing well. They were in the army. David was in the bush. But yet David comes and is trying to just even ask about Goliath. And they are like, shut up. You don't have anything to offer. Come on. What did I do? I even brought you lunch. I even brought you lunch. I brought you lunch instead of appreciating me. I just heard the, everyone talking about someone. Is it wrong for me to inquire? Why are you shutting me up? You are the one who is in, in the army. You are the one who has been who has been progressing. Oh, don't you dare spend a sleepless night because of that. Kayana Balarasiana. Don't you spend one sleepless night because of that. Liza Baraswana. Liana Barasiana Baru Shakaliana Rasobrahanda. The thing is, when the oil is upon you, when, when, when you have heaven's endorsement, you don't do your things the way every other person does it. You begin to dream big. Your, 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 your dreams are big. Because your dreams are not what you can do. Your dreams are what God wants to do. Come on, Joseph by himself could not be dreaming of everyone bowing before him. He was just the second to the last born. So why would anyone bow before him in the first place? So on his own accord, he couldn't think of that. But because heaven was backing him up, you begin to say things that you don't know how they are going to come to pass. You begin to tell them, say, look at me, don't look at me like this. One day I will be a millionaire. One day I'm going to feed nations. One day I'm going to be a king. And they look at you and they say, shut up, you are good for nothing. You can't even do chores in the house. But you don't know. Yes, you, you know that the moment you say this thing, people are going, your, your brothers will hate you. But you want to keep quiet, but you can't keep quiet. Because there is greatness in the inside of you that is screaming for expression. There is greatness screaming out and shouting, crying for expression in the inside of you. So you want to say to stay quiet. The 
when God shows you another revelation and you want to stay quiet, then God opens your eyes to some other thing. And you want to stay quiet. You are contented being you in your bush where you don't talk, you, you don't talk to anyone. One. You don't fight with anybody. Why in the bush you are just busy channeling all your energy to fight the lions and the bears that come against your sheep because you have accepted that this is my own path. This is my own life. I am happy being here. But then there is going to come a somewhere to the house when you are not even there. And it's going to say no one sits down except David comes. No one sits down except this oil is poured on the head of David. And David is out in the bush not minding his own business. And the brothers are going to hate him more. Who are you that they commanded us to stand up and wait for you? Why did they command us to stand up just because of you? Who are you, this non-entity? And David says, what did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. I was busy in the bush minding my business. How did I get to this level? It's not you. It's because heaven has endorsed you. And guess what? The more they hate you, the more God loves you. So if your family hates you, get ready for promotion. Know that you are about you are, you are set apart to be a deliverer to that family. If they hate you, know you have been set apart to be a deliverer to that family. Know you have been set apart to be a deliverer to that family. I came today with a good news for someone. Liana Barasiana Barushaka. Because they hated you. God is blessing you abundantly. The Bible says because they hated Leah, God blessed her with many children. Because you have been hated. God is blessing you abundantly because you have been hated. God is taking you to levels that you didn't even know you could get because you have been hated. Heaven is endorsing you. Divine endorsement is your portion today in the mighty name of Jesus. I know I'm preaching better than you are receiving. Someone, heaven is backing you up in the name of Jesus. Divine endorsement is your portion in the name of Jesus. Heaven is backing you up in the name of Jesus. Liza Branda Laru Shakaliana La Soprahanda. Oh, Yana Balarasiana Baru Shaka. Liza Barasiana Balaru Shaka. Someone you have been set apart for greatness. You cannot remain small. Someone, I call you out from your hiding place. I command you out from that hiding place. I decree, I put an end to your obscurity in the name of Jesus. I decree that your days in obscurity are over in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Zabaya, na, 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 na. thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Did you receive the word of God with gladness? Did you receive God's word with gladness? If you did, then that, this is a time to prove it. We have one to two minutes for our, for our offering as we are thanking God. There is cash up and PayPal. There is super chat. There is mobile money. There is super chat. There is super stickers, super tanks. We have one to two minutes to say, Father, thank you for this word. And if you are sowing a seed, this is a word for you. Your days of smallness are over. It is time for heaven to back you up. It is time for divine endorsement. Your days of smallness are over. It is time for divine endorsement. That is the word today. Oh, Zabayana Balarasiana. Oh, yes, Monica. Yes, Monica. Friday, we come to keep the fire burning throughout the weekend. To keep the fire burning throughout the weekend. Last Saturday, I couldn't come live. I shared the live session, but I was exhausted. <laughs> I was so exhausted, I couldn't even come live. I was like, the daughter of Zion will not come and kill herself. Let this daughter of Zion rest so that you can have the best of her. So I took the weekend off last week. Oh, Kala Zabarasiana. Zibayana Balarushaka, if you are late to sow a seed, don't, don't hesitate to do that, please. Always a blessing for you. Enter his courts with his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. But God does, Shanti. God does. 
Oh, thank you, Monica. That's so sweet of you. Come on. That, you, you are really a good member. <laughs> Many members are so selfish. They, <laughs> they want you to roll. You, 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 you get so tired. Amen, Caroline. Amen, amen, amen. I receive. I receive. Amen, Caroline. Thank you. Monica, there are times that you get so tired after ministering. I see sometimes my father, my spiritual father would minister and is tired. And, 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 and he would please say, people, please, I'm tired. I need to rest. Let's schedule the, the counseling for another day. There must be people sitting on the line to see him. They really don't care. Many people really don't care about how you feel. Amen, mercy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, people, if you have not given the video a thumbs up, please do that. Do that for us. Do that. Thank you so much. Amen, Caroline. I receive it. Amen. 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 I receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lini. Thank you. Amen. Okay, family, let me let me pray and bless you. I connect you to your seat and I decree. Heaven is endorsing you in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you do, whatever you have your hands touch, I decree connecting you to your seat, I decree. God is backing you up in the name of Jesus. Whatever you do shall prosper because you have the backing and the support of heaven in the name of Jesus. Where you need sponsors, God is giving you help in the name of Jesus. Divine helpers, divine partners are joining you in the name of Jesus. God is announcing you in places where you are supposed to be announced in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone, I connect you to your seat and I decree that your days of smallness are over in the name of Jesus. Someone, I decree your haters will, will come and bow down before you in the name of Jesus. I decree God is giving you the wisdom that you need to be able to do that task that he has given, that he has commanded you to do. God is giving you the wisdom that you need to be able to fulfill purpose. God is giving you the partnership, the partners that you need, the conditions that you need, the finances that you need to be able to fulfill purpose in the name of Jesus. Someone, I decree your days of Simonis are over in the mighty name of Jesus. Your days of Simonis are over in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Blessing is the culture of heaven. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. And may he be, be gracious to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, happy weekend, family. Oh, Caroline, thank you so much for joining us, ma'am. We're so glad to have you join us today. Every other person that joined us for the first time, thank you so much for being a part of this session. And thank you, family, those that are already family members. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being a part. Rosemary, you're welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Please, if you have not subscribed to Purpose and Marita, please, please do me the favor and subscribe. And do not forget the notification bell so that every time we are live, Oh, I, 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 am, I, I am learning to listen to my body. So we might be here tomorrow this same time. We might be here tomorrow this same time. If we are not here, know the daughter of Zion is tired. If we are here, so just keep your, just keep your phone. See if, if we are here, just, just if I set a live session, just, just how, do, how do we call it? Set the reminder so that if I'm live, we are going to find out. We are going to know that I'm live. Amen. Have a wonderful weekend, family. You know how much I love you, right? Yes, Monica, with all my intestines. I love you so much. Pastor Rich, I'm waiting for that video from you. Pastor Rich, I'm on your case. I'm waiting for that video. This is weekend. I'm waiting for that video. I'm waiting to, to, to receive the link of your channel. I want to be the first to subscribe. No, the second after Monica. <laughs> I want to be the second after Monica to subscribe. Family, I love you so much. I love you much love for me. Happy weekend. Have a nice weekend. As you enjoy this weekend, don't forget the pastor. It is illegal to be eating, to be dining and whining without the pastor dining and whining. It's not fair. <laughs> 
Somebody, this is a word for you as you enjoy this week and remember your pastor. <laughs> God bless you, Sissy. Always a pleasure having you. Someone don't enjoy alone this weekend. Remember your pastor. Hey, I'm still in the spirit. Mr. Tyon Judge, take your wife out this weekend. I'm speaking as commanded by the Holy Spirit. Mr. Tyon Judge, take your wife out this weekend. <laughs> Elder Tyon did not hear that. Elder Tyon, did you hear that? Elder Tyon, take your wife out this weekend. <laughs> Amen, Shanti. <laughs> oh, you're such a darling. Elder Tyon says you'll do that. You're such a darling. Please do that. <laughs> I'm ready to be spoiled this weekend. Oh, amen, Rosemary, amen. So glad to hear that. Thank you so much. Oh, it feels so good to hear that. Feels so good to hear that family have got to go. Oh, my God. This is more than one hour, 30 minutes. I've exceeded my time. You guys are fooling me. I love you too, Shanti. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh, Pastor Rich. Pastor Rich, take Monica out this weekend. I'm, I'm still under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Take Monica out this weekend. But you guys don't forget about me. As you enjoy, don't forget about me. But Pastor Rich, take Monica out this weekend. This has been declared a weekend of love. Please take, take, take your spouses out. Take your, your, take, take your boys out. Monica, am I speaking your mind? <laughs> Monica, did, did, is this a confirmation? Did I just give you a confirmation? Go show you this last night, right? Oh, come on. Hold on, why are you crying? There's no one to take you out? Or there's no one for you to take out? Please don't cry now. Oh, Rosemary is from Kenya. That's awesome. Glad to have you join us from Kenya. Hold on, if there's no one to take you out, I decree this weekend is a weekend of love. You'll find love this weekend. <laughs> if there's someone here, you don't have anyone to show love for or, any, to, or anyone who, sh who can show love to you. Linnea, someone will take you out this weekend. I decree this weekend is the weekend of love. Someone will take you out this weekend. Feel free this week. And if someone doesn't take you out, take someone out. Say the pastor said this weekend is a weekend of love. If someone doesn't take you out, walk up to them and take them out on a date. You never can tell. This is a divine instruction. <laughs> this is a divine instruction. If, some, if no one asks you out, ask someone out. Invite them out. <laughs> Bye-bye, people. Bless. <laughs> Bless Pearl. Thank you for joining us. By fire, by force. Yes, yeah, something must happen. If no one is taking you out, take someone out. This nonsense must stop. What is it? <laughs> we take it. The kingdom of God suffered violence. Violence, take it by force. We take it by force. If, 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 someone, if no one takes you out, take someone out. This thing must happen. It must happen either way. <laughs> oh family bye 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 i love you so much i love you all maybe i'll just come on this one of these days <laughs> yes let the love be violent we don't care it, 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 we must have it daughters of zion will not keep sitting behind and, and languishing with uh, when the biological clock is ticking that nonsense must stop one of these days, I'll just come live for us to chat and just have a good time so that I get to know you better. Oh, love you too, mercy. The problem is that my temptation is the word of God. I've been saying this from the time I started this channel. Every time I come here, I find myself shouting. Hollands, why do you keep crying? Come on, now you're getting me disturbed. 
all these nice things I'm saying, you keep crying. What's the problem? How can I help you? Maybe you can send me an email. If you need for me to help you, please send me an email. Oh, oh you missed something. Is this someone or something? You miss something and you are crying so much like this when we are laughing and talking about love, then that's serious. May God reconnect you in the name of Jesus. May you find what you missed in the name of Jesus. May you find it in the name of Jesus. May you have reason to laugh. <laughs> Someone and something. This weekend is a weekend of love. May you find reason to laugh this weekend in the name of Jesus. May God give you a reason to laugh. May you find that someone that will make you laugh in the mighty name of Jesus. Family, this is, I'm way beyond time. You guys are fooling me. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. My kingdom spouse wants to take me out. So bye to everyone. <laughs> oh my God, ministration. With, oh my God, family, don't go yet. My resident pastor is here. Ministration with Pastor Stella. Oh my God, ma. Oh my God. <laughs> Ma, are you just coming or you have been here? I hope you didn't hear me talk all this door. <laughs> Family, help me greet my pastor. My resident pastor is here. She's my senior pastor, dangerously anointed. Don't, don't joke with her. This woman of God is dangerously anointed. <laughs> you have been here. Oh my God, I've been having monitoring spirits. <laughs> this is not fair <laughs> so now I could have been saying yes and say don't mind me in my ministry I'm the most anointed woman of God say there are many of them that are thinking they are anointed they are frying rice I am the one with the word of God <laughs> the Lord delivered me <laughs> family please follow her follow her you will be blessed she is dangerously anointed she is dangerously anointed Oh my God, she is dangerously anointed. Follow her. Please subscribe to her channel if you have not done that. You will be so blessed by her. Subscribe to her. Help me subscribe to her channel if you have not done that. Please just help me subscribe. Follow her. I guarantee you will be blessed. I guarantee. Our father taught us well. She, she is an epitome of my spiritual father. She represents the grace completely. Oh, Leon Valerie, thank you so much for joining us. Grace, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Okay, I'm seeing many people who were there, but we're not talking. This is not fair. People, don't be monitoring spirit. Or when you're there, please come in, let me know. So that daughter of Zion will not come and send down outside here. Very proud. <laughs> thinking there is no one listening I'm <laughs> I would have been probably messing up not knowing my senior pastor is here saying things that don't make sense with confidence family bye bye I'm way out of time I'm way out of time happy weekend happy weekend happy weekend remember this is a weekend of love if no one is taking you out take someone out the kingdom of God suffers violence, violence taken by force. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Okay, you came late, Grace. Better late than never. Mama. <laughs> now I know. 